don't know what that was. What's happening my fellow geeks and geek heads? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris and today it is the final nail in the coffin and the wrap up video for my hybrid Superman costume. So you guys know the drill, it's going to be a breakdown of the suit, where all the pieces came from, which artists made certain pieces and what I did to said certain pieces and then I'm going to give you guys a demonstration of myself wearing the full suit at the end of the video. So the actual footage of me wearing the suit and the muscle suit was actually shot two weeks ago just after after I got back from LA. Now usually I'd suit up for it, but we are in the middle of a massive heat wave at the moment, not to mention some very nasty bushfires. So it's a pretty stressful time for Australia at the moment. And being in this thing would not do any favors at all. Like I would literally soak the suit. So it's just not really worth it. Got a lot of footage from the two weeks ago. So that'll suffice. Now also this is going to be my last video for the year. Now I thought I was going to wrap things up with my video two weeks ago but obviously Rise of Skywalker came out. I wanted to talk about that and now this one. I just have a bit of closure with this hybrid Superman suit. Now before we get to any of the details of this suit I want to show you guys the muscle suit that I'm using. It's actually the exact same muscle suit that I use for the black suit slash regeneration Superman suit except there's just been a few changes and it's actually looking pretty manky right now. One moment. So if you guys remember, this is the muscle suit for the black suit slash regeneration suit. I use this muscle suit under the hybrid suit as well. The only difference is I've shaved off the bicep and tricep area because it was just way too tight and it got to the point where the blue fabric itself was actually turning white. As you guys know, if you stretch sub dye fabric enough, it'll turn white or whatever base color it is. So of course we have the deltoids and the forearms from El Fet. We have the abs, the pecs and the lats from Napier's in Incorporated. And the legs are actually from Arkham Workshop. So this is just like the biggest Frankenstein job ever. And at the moment, it looks a bit worse for wear. So I've actually reordered all of these parts. So I'm gonna be making a fresh and neater muscle suit in the new year. Also, I learned one big thing, do not seal these things in with the black Sikaflex because it just adds to the heat factor. Speaking of, ah. All right, now we got that out of the way. So you guys know the drill. I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod. I'm gonna show you guys some nice close-up details of the suit and who the certain artists and makers are. Now in terms of the boots, there's not really much to say about them. These were 60 bucks from costumeshop.com.au. A lot of work needs to be done to them, but they're gonna do for now. Again, like the black suit uh, boots, they're gonna be a placeholder. I actually do need to take these uh, to the tailors or a cobbler in this case, and have this section here taken in a bit. I have actually ordered some calves for my muscle suit, whereas opposed to the muscle suit that I have now does not have calves. So, so my natural calves do not fill this at all. I'm not a genetic freak and have big calves, unfortunately. The other thing, these boots have no tread whatsoever. So if you're on a carpeted surface, good luck standing up. 60 Australian dollars, can't go wrong. So with that being said, I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod, show you guys some nice close-up details. Oops, sorry. And then I'm gonna show you guys the footage of me suited up, just fiddling around, doing some judo karate chops. And then we're gonna call it a day, or in this case, call it a year. All right, geeks and geekettes, let's do it. Now, but actually before I get into that, there is a lot of stuff going on in terms of Etsy orders and trying to wrap stuff up before Chrissy and the New Year. So I have a Batfleck belt that's just come out of the mold. These I will get to in a second. Uh, I've got some Michael Myers hands. I've got to take a mold of Aku Aku for a dear friend of mine. So I actually want to start offering resin kits of him, which would be cool. And of course, still chipping away at this fella here, the, uh, the Nightmare Batfleck bust, which the rest of him is under bubble wrap at the moment, so he doesn't get too dusty, but just working away on uh, restubbling that mouth. And I do have to order the eyes at some point. And there's his eye plate there that's going to house those beautiful acrylic eyes. So let's get down to business. Let's talk about the overall design of this. So this, like I said, is a hybrid. We've, this is essentially like baking a cake. You take a cup of Cavill, um, a cup of Tyler's CW suit, you know, a, a pinch of Dean Kane, a pinch of 90s Superman, a pinch of Christopher Reeve, and a soupçon 
of Nicolas Cage in that case right there. Uh, combine them all together and bake on high for 350. And that's what I wanted. I wanted classic, new, um, and just something different, something that's striking because I'm a big fan of the vibrant blue and red, especially the emblem. So the emblem, of course, is made by Batboy Customs, who does amazing work. And I just wanted classic look. So that's where that look comes from, obviously from the 90s, Superman and also Dean Cain, even though Dean Cain's emblem wasn't urethane, it was sewn into his suit, it was fabric, but just still it has that classic look to it. Um, the cape clips, I touched on in the LA vlog um, slash reveal of this, sort of reveal of this, that I wanted something different. Because obviously we know Superman tucks his cape in like so, and that's cool, it looks great, but I wanted something different. And also honing back to Tyler's CW suit. He's got those nice kind of cape clips, and it looks almost royal, like Kryptonian royalty. So obviously I touched on it before, but what I did was I got these kind of shoulder straps from Bunnings. Now here's an example of one still intact that's actually a size smaller, but it was way too small. Um, got to cut them in half and took a silicon block mold. And here is two urethane ones for a friend of mine fresh out of the mold. So it's actually brushed in with a gold powder and then backed up with black urethane. And just the two together just make a really nice Gold. Now this is a much more uh, lower shore urethane. Mine's a couple of shores higher, the ones that are on the suit. And the way it works is there's Velcro tabs here on the cape and it feeds through and there's a Velcro just here. So the two meet and pop in like so. And then the back here tucks around into the back and it just, it sits beautifully. I'm gonna have to go in and do some more plate work with this one because it kind of tends to sink down a bit if you do like that, but not too much that it's gonna drape completely over. You just kind of have to be wary of it when wearing it. The only, I've only worn this once and that was actually a children's hospital visit last week here in Sydney, which was an amazing experience and the suit got a lot of great feedback. The kids loved it, so and that's all that matters at the end of the day. So of course we all know that uh, Fernando, AKA El Fett, who provided the muscles, well, in this case, the deltoids for the muscle suit. Um, him and his amazing crew at LA uh, Custom Design helped with the cape. I did the basic, well, obviously the purchasing and the basic sewing of the cape, uh, and then Luce went in and did all the hemming and everything, which was amazing because I'm not that skilled on a sewing machine at all. And it just, the collaboration with the cape and trying to engineer this kind of look just worked out perfectly. So a big thank you to them. Now the bodysuit is made by my good friend, Ryan Jenkins of Frontier Costuming. Ryan and I go way back. If you guys remember back in 2016 with the whole BVS hype and the Dawn of Justice hype, um, I got a Batfleck bodysuit from Frontier Design and Ryan does crazy amazing design work. So I saw his Cavill suit and I wanted the Cavill chain mail and the Kryptonian, you know, quote going through parts of the suit. And I go, can you do this in a much more vibrant blue and add the trunks, add some red trunks? Cause that's what I want. I want that look. I want the trunks. Um, I may go and ask him to actually make a separate pair of trunks. So you can actually physically see fabric on fabric, but uh, I'm happy with this for the time being. And Ryan came through and it just, it's amazing. It hits all the right points in terms of lighting. Um, you know, if I kind of down the lighting or the exposure on this camera now, I'm in the minus at the moment. You can see how it goes dark there and I'll up it and even it out at zero. See, it kind of goes, at, not overexposed, but it is quite light. So I'll just dial that back a bit. There we go. So this is like the ideal look and color that I want on the suit. So I was very happy with it. And you see the chain mail there, and obviously the Kryptonian quote. Now the actual mannequin that this is on is of yours truly. There's an amazing lady named Holly who has a business called Tools for Holly that will take a scan of you and mill you out of foam. So it's like high density styrofoam. And it's me in my undies. <laughs> but I just wanted something that's me and not, you know, a Frankenstein mannequin, mannequin pieces. I wanted something that is actually me and is gonna make life a lot easier for when I'm gluing down muscles and armor that I'm gonna wear. 
Now, the belt was made by the amazing Chris Robinson of GC5 FX and is based on Nicolas Cage's Superman belt um, from the failed Tim Burton film Superman Lives, which I honestly would have loved to have seen, but, you know, uh, the things happen. And I'm very happy with the way the cape drapes. It's not overly long, it's not overly short, it's just perfect and just flows beautifully. I don't actually know the name of this fabric, but it just falls really nice. When the wind catches it, it just looks badass. Alrighty, so I've covered all the amazing artists who had a hand in helping out in terms of making this. So a massive thank you to each and every one of you. You guys are just amazing. I couldn't do it without you. So with that being said, we're gonna cut to the footage that I shot two weeks ago of me just falling around in the suit in the garage here so you guys get an idea of how it all works. And another reason why I do wanna redo the muscle suit, and you guys will see um, where the belt sits, it bulks out and then it just goes really inward and you'll see it especially on this side and it just doesn't fall right it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing so that's why i want to go back to the drawing board and just do a nice clean aesthetic muscle suit instead of you know shredded mcgee over there it's not ideal Alrighty, geeks and geekettes enjoy And there you have it guys, another cosplay wrapped up, done and dusted. Thank you so much for your amazing support along the way with the hybrid suit and of course the black slash regeneration suit. And that is a wrap for 2019 Geeks and Geekettes. Just thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for your fantastic support, not just this year, but the previous years. We've been going for five and a half years. Crazy stuff, man. And with that being said, Geeks and Geekettes, have yourself an absolute cracker of a Christmas. If you do not celebrate Christmas, please, happy holidays, whatever you're doing. Eat lots of food, be happy, enjoy your time with your family. If it's family you don't see very often, have an amazing time. This doesn't just go for me, but it goes for you guys as well. Let's make 2020 an amazing slash cracker of a year. 2019 has been a roller coaster this year, but in the best way possible. I hit a lot of goals, achieved so many bucket list moments and I just want to keep that roller coaster going. Guys, wherever you're on the world, have yourselves a Christmas cracker of a day. I hope you're well, hope you're happy, be merry, be silly, and until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.